The Six Factors of Success. Hi, my name is Romit and I'm on a mission to empower 100,000 millennials to take charge of their life through digital entrepreneurship. So stay tuned till the end to learn what the six factors are. Great, so the first factor is your default setting. This is the most important. All wealthy individuals have, just imagine what kind of a mindset, what kind of mind frame do rich and wealthy people have. It's definitely different because the one basic thing you have to understand that everything boils down to your belief system. You know, the beliefs that you have around money, the beliefs you have around business, the beliefs you have around fear, rejection. You know, because any, anyone and everyone who is in business, who is successful, naturally has belief systems that support and serve their purpose, which is to be successful. But what happens due to no fault of our own, we tend to carry existing beliefs that do not really serve our ideas or our opportunities. Let me explain. So sometimes, and this is the reason for all this is our upbringing. So imagine if you are in, so imagine if you grew up in an environment where you had a lot of abundance, you had a lot of money, what kind of beliefs would you be carrying today with respect to money? It would be awesome, right? It would be supportive of you having more money. However, if you grew up in an environment where, you know, you heard conversations of, you know, struggle where there was money, there was struggle, then you carry those beliefs with you, knowing or unknowingly. So the environment that you are exposed to as a child, it gets carried forward as an adult in the form of your belief system. And whether you know this or not, but your beliefs shape your reality. Your beliefs shape your reality. That is the power of having a belief system that could be supportive or non-supportive the first step is to acknowledge and the how how can you acknowledge how your belief system is is to see the results in your life right now at this moment look at your relationships look at your look at your financials look at your health that is a reflection a representation of your belief system with respect to that particular aspect of your life so if you have a great relationship and uh, you know you have a great partner and you're extremely happy and fulfilled in the relationship that is a representation of your beliefs with respect to how you define a relationship with respect to money and business if you are in a business right now and if you're struggling with finances if you're struggling with money that is a representation of your mental relationship with money that could be that could have uh, you know, happened to you based on your upbringing as a child or something that you picked up, some statement, something that does not serve you today. But the good news is that it doesn't matter what your belief systems are today because you can change it. But the first step before change is to acknowledge that something needs to be done. So you look at your life right now, you look at where you are, where you want to be. Because if a rich and wealthy individual wants to continue making a million dollars, he will obviously have belief systems with respect to business and money that will allow him to sustain the million dollars. If he wants to take his business from a million to a multi-million dollar business, his belief systems will have to be supportive of that transition. So imagine if your beliefs with respect to money are where you feel that you know, I, uh, you know, it's, it's basically boils down to your beliefs in terms of what you tell yourself, right? If you tell yourself that I don't think I can do business because uh, there was this family member and, uh, you know, he was so smart and he tried doing business and he failed. I mean, some of you can relate with me with respect to, you know, things that happen around you as a child form these beliefs and these beliefs stay with you when you become an adult. And as an adult, all the decisions you make Imagine how crucial your beliefs are because every decision you make is a representation of your beliefs. And if your belief says that I can't ever do business, do you think you're ever going to grab an opportunity that is business related? Absolutely not. But if tomorrow someone comes and says 
like I'm, do, I'm doing right now, that you can change that belief system just by, number one, affirmations. You tell yourself, you tell yourself, you replace that belief in your mind and you tell yourself that, you know, I can do business, I can do business, I can do business. You know, at the same time, you put in effort in learning and studying as to how you can do business because the more clarity you have through learning, the more awareness you have, the more awareness you have, the more confidence you have in it becoming a possibility. What happens here is that the two things complement. So your self-talk or your affirmations of telling yourself that you can do it, it is possible and also backed by substantial evidence with respect to how others are doing it so that logical and emotional come together to create a new belief system and just like that, imagine if you just change one belief system how it's going to reflect in the opportunities you can get, the opportunities you can grab and embrace and this can open up a whole new dimension. It's like, it's like all this while you were living and there was like this parallel dimension that was like a level up for you but you just didn't realize that by changing your belief systems over here you could make that shift and enter that parallel dimension and make it a reality. So the first factor to success is your mind frame. It's your default setting and you can upgrade your default setting. It's like an operating system, right? Every time Windows or Mac comes out with the latest operating system. Why? Why do they come out with the latest? Because it's required, you know, because they're leveling up the same way in your life. If you want to level up, you have to upgrade your operating systems. You have to replace the, the floppy disk with the USB drive. You have to replace the video uh, the, 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 the VCR with uh, the Blu-ray. Okay, you got to upgrade your beliefs as well. So that is number one factor. Number two, if you want to be successful in business, now the second most important factor is you need to have a skill, a high income skill. All wealthy, affluential business owners are amazingly skilled at what? Negotiating, closing, um, speaking, you know, uh, copywriting. Copywriting is the art of writing to ensure people uh, people buy your product or service. Uh, selling, marketing, right? The great, the, the richest people are the greatest salesmen. That is the truth. And and how do you like? And, and the thing is that people don't understand this, but you are always selling, even if you're not in business. You're always selling. You're always selling your you know, your, your parents on why you should go out with your friends for a late birthday night, birthday party. You're always selling to your partner as to why you should go to, uh, you know, a particular travel destination. You know, you're, you're, you're always selling to, let's say if you have a boss, as to uh, why they should do things in another way. You're always selling, right? So, even selling is a skill. It's, it's, it's something that you can learn something you can adopt and in business you need to have certain skills to make sure you stand out of your competition and what are those skills copywriting closing negotiating marketing you know we're living in such such an amazing times and look at all the successful business people so the second most important factor is having a high income skill now how do you get these high income skills is by devoting and becoming uh, a learner becoming a student surrendering and submitting yourself to one topic anything that you feel that you just want to learn there are so many skills available so many resources available go and invest in those courses go and invest in those programs go on youtube learn that skill if you want to learn how to uh, write a book go and learn that skill if you want to learn how to run facebook ads go and learn that skill if you want to learn how to start an online business go and learn how to start an online business learn the skills required to start an online business but the second most important thing, if you want to run a successful business, if you want to be successful, you need to have skills and each and every skill is learnable. There is no such thing as I can't learn that. You can learn and when there is, when your learning is backed by a passion, when you're truly interested in what you're setting out to learn, then it's not going to be difficult. Yes, there will be a learning curve. There is a learning curve to everything. When you grew or when you were a child, and I'll give you my own example. When I, I learned how to swim when I was three years old, you know, but how did I learn how to swim? I was put into the water you know obviously with a coach and everything but how did i learn how to ride a bicycle i was put on a bicycle and i was taught how to do it and then i did it on my own so go and learn from someone else who's achieved it go and learn a skill from someone who you like who someone who you resonate with someone who has uh you know a great online course or a great program or uh, a great youtube channel just go out there and just learn build skills build skills because those skills will take care of you in the future you can you know, you don't know what opportunities can arise based on the skills you have. Okay, so the second one is high income skill. Okay, the third one 
is having a strategy. The third factor to success is having a strategy because now if you have the right mindset and you have the right skills, how are you going to put these two together to start a business of your own? So you need to have a strategy. Those who fail to plan, plan to fail. So it's very, very crucial to have a strategy. All wealthy individuals, they didn't just get rich overnight. They had a plan. They had a strategy. They had a blueprint. So find your blueprint, create your blueprint and make sure of one thing that whatever happens, even if your plan fails, that means there is another way to ensure you're successful. If that fails as well, there's another way to be, be successful as well. So don't make sure that your resilience towards failure and rejection is extremely high because the higher the resilience, you know, the more, the more of a go-getter you're going to be, the more determined you're going to be, the more uh, persevering, the more patient, the more uh, persistent you're going to be. And that is what it really requires because when the when, when things get really dark and you're at the end, you're, at, you're looking down a very dark tunnel you can't, and you cannot see the the light at the end of the tunnel that is when the, the true test is going to happen where you know the men get separated from the boys and the women get separated from the girls it's all about having the resilience to ensure that if this is something that you've taken up to make sure you follow through you focus until you are successful okay never give up never say never and just do it okay so the third one is having a strategy having a strategy something that requires you you could have a mentor to help you show you the way that is a proven strategy or you could go out there and create your own strategy and you know, just optimize and fine tune that strategy until it works for you and serves your purpose. Number four is now what separates what separates ha you having a strategy from everyone else is you having a vision. Because without a vision, it's like they say that even a um, it's worse than being blind is having no vision. You know, if you have a clear vision of where you want to be, where you want to go. So the process of creative visualization is basically where you visualize exactly where you want to be. There's a technique called the actor's technique. So you act as if you are already in that position where you are uh, achieving those goals, making that money, speaking to those kind of people, making those connections, networking, you know, being in that state of where you want and truly desire to be because if you are here and you want to be here, you can't be the same person here as well. You got to make those upgrades to your beliefs, to your skills, to your strategy. And most important of all, you need to have a vision. This is your vision. If you don't have a vision, you're just you're lost. So it's very important, very crucial for you to have a vision because vision is what creates that great bigger picture for you in your life. Something you can look forward to, something that makes you wake up in the morning, something you can just be like, wow, like that is the vision. That is what I'm working towards. And that is where success by true definition means the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. That vision is your worthy ideal. All right. Otherwise, you're just you're going by you, then your life will just go, to, go on autopilot you'll try something you won't really be motivated you'll fail once you fail twice you'll be like screw this this is not for me but if you have a vision that vision will protect your daily efforts it'll protect it'll ensure your daily efforts from those micro failures that you'll go into it will not deter you from your big vision but you have to have a vision that's going to keep you separate that's going to basically uh, make keep you uh, that's how you're going to stand out from the competition number five is a new concept I've learned. It's called Kaizen. Kaizen is basically a Japanese word for making constant improvements on a regular basis. So now you have an idea of the mental framework you need, the mindset you need to require. You need to invest in learning a high income skill. Number three is you have to understand that you need a strategy because without a strategy, without a plan, you're just going. Uh, it's like it's like it's like a, it's like a ship that is just going without any direction. It's going to crash land, or is it going to crash on crash on the land? And uh, the fourth thing is having a vision. Now. As you are going about this, it's very important to make constant improvements every day. Otherwise, see, either you're growing or you're getting left behind. There's no such thing as, 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 as stagnation, you know. So the thing is that you have to constantly make improvements. You have to look at your mindset. How can you make an improvement there? You have to look at your, uh, your strategy. How can you make an improvement there? You look at your skills. What, skill, what more skills can you learn? You know, because there will be progress at each and every level. And in order for you to make sure that you are making that micro progressions, at each and every level, that is your Kaizen. That is where you really are not only compounding your efforts towards reaching your vision, but you're also growing as an individual because the person you are here and the person you are here will definitely be two different people and this will be your next best version. Okay. And the sixth factor of success is your environment. You are the average of the seven people you spend the most time with. If you didn't know this, then please know it now that the average of the people you spend the most time with is a representation of who you are today. So make sure that who you spend your time with, the environment you're in, people who support you, people who do not support you, pay attention, be aware, have your conscious uh, uh, you know, uh, mind showing you and telling you that, okay, these are the people who are not supportive, then you do not want to have such people around. Even if so, those people are in your family, then make sure that you have certain uh, you know, you have certain 
you have a strong mindset to not be affected by the opinions of other people even though they are people who are close to you doesn't matter because your vision is true to you let your vision be true to you it comes through a place within you call your gut feeling your instinct your intuition stay true to yourself by listening to yourself and not listening to the people who do not support you pay spend more time with the people who support you genuinely support you not for the sake of just saying that they support you and not supporting you so make sure your environment is purified it's clean it's not contaminated based on negative opinions and negative beliefs because it's very easy to be negative it's very easy for us to get demotivated and go down that path but in order for us to be positive and strong minded and that's why only a few go out there and make it happen but it's not easy it's like the iceberg you only see one third of the iceberg on top but uh, the two third of the iceberg that you do not see is comprised of your rituals comprised comprised of your mindset is comprised of the daily practices is comprised of the consistency it's comprised of all these things that actually make the one third on top float without the two third there's no one third without all your efforts without without having a vision without having a strategy without having the right environment without having high income skills that you're learning on a daily basis without having the right mindset there's no next best version of you there's no success so those are the six factors of success just going to do a quick rev a revision number 1 is having the right mindset number 2 is investing in learning a high income skill number 3 is all about having a strategy number 4 is all about having your vision number 5 is your kaizen which is constantly improving making cons consistent daily improvements in everything that you're doing and number 6 is your environment because you are an average of the seven people you spend the most time with i hope you found this valuable please like comment subscribe you know the drill and if you want to join me for a a masterclass to learn how to build a super profitable business i don't a topic of your choice and there's a link over here this is romit signing off thank you so much for watching this take care god bless